Just imagine a city where one in three police officers, more than 1,000 of them, are off sick with COVID. That's the worst case scenario the Toronto Police Chief is preparing for as the service anticipates the coming Omicron wave. CTV's John Woodward is live outside police headquarters tonight with more. John. Mich uh, Michelle, Chief James Raymer had hoped just weeks ago that COVID-19 would be in the rearview mirror. Instead, he's overseeing an unprecedented preparation to blunt the impact of the virus on city policing. It's, it's happening as we speak. We have a whole uh, group of people that are being uh, being tested. Chief James Raymer says in a year-end interview with CTV, uh, he hoped he wouldn't be talking about the pandemic, but Omicron's arrival has upended everything. At least 10 officers isolating at 51 Division Friday while they await COVID tests with the force preparing for many more events like this in an unprecedented worst case scenario. How is the Toronto Police handling this surge? Uh, we're having to prepare for potentially 10, 20, 30 percent of your people sick at any one time and that's something we have not experienced in the pandemic. The plan to adapt despite 160 fewer officers on unpaid leave thanks to their vaccination status and knowledge that the criminals who statistics showed stayed home during the last waves may not be anymore. And we're working on those plans uh, as we move forward. In many cases you'll see a lot of uh, people that are, say, in, in headquarters or plainclothes positions, and they'll be, they'll be going into uniform. But in many cases, it'll depend where the shortages are. COVID-19 has been a major focus since Raymer was installed as interim chief in 2020 of the sprawling force of more than 5,500 officers. But he is also working on other priorities, among them reforming missing persons investigations prompted by failings in the probe into serial killer Bruce MacArthur. Shepherd a transformation of the city's mental health call response to involve civilian teams and push for a new approach to a toxic drug crisis that's killed more than 1,400 Ontarians this year alone, a fight that is now personal. I, I've had a very good, a good friend who lost someone uh, as a result of an opioid overdose. So I think that's the, that's the reality of what we're confronted with. In many cases, we're all going to be touched by it because it's such a significant issue. How does that personal experience of yours affect how you approach this issue in your job? Well, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's given me a commitment to see that we advance this issue. Advance it by supporting a safe supply, which he believes would mean his officers would attend fewer drug deaths, including the one that killed 14-year-old Kaylee Gillard in November. But all of those things must be done in the shadow of the pandemic. Another priority, consulting with the community, made more difficult as police stations were closed to the public this week. Oh, because of the coronavirus, they close it. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Omicron surge, meaning the TPS is trying to police North America's third largest city while preparing for the worst. The buildings like the one behind me are closed to the public, but we did talk to some people outside who were able to call ahead and pick up the documents they required, like criminal record checks, in person. As for when these buildings are, are going to reopen, that's as unpredictable as the Omicron variant itself. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Michelle, back to you.